Hi, I'm Dave, and this is Crit Thinking 418. Um, just wanted to talk today about something that came up in um, a, a youth group class uh, this past week. Um, so basically, the the whole idea is the question is whether God condones slavery, and and more specifically is why in the Ten Commandments does it um, mention slavery and not give a another comment saying, well, we're mentioning it, but, however, this is really not something you should do, but since you do do it, um, you know, make sure that on the Sabbath day even your um, slaves don't work. So, first off the bat, just thinking about it all, um, so, slaves. Slaves are um, perhaps one thing. So, what is the meaning of slave in Scripture um, in that verse? Is it the same as what we're thinking of it? Um, and, uh, and so, okay, so even if it is, um, I guess I would like to think that it's better that God mentions something rather than nothing. So, by necessity, in order to give those Ten Commandments, um, he needed to say that slaves um, shouldn't work on the Sabbath day. Uh, if he didn't say that, and he didn't mention slaves by name, um, people would still have their slaves be working. So in a sense, he was advocating for slaves. But, okay, so that still doesn't eliminate, you know, why God didn't put sort of like an asterisk and say, okay, why... So why didn't he correct them right then and there? So possibly when you work with people, you know... You, you don't need to correct them right away on certain things. Now, the other thing is that back in those times, slavery was uh, um, basically one way that you gained slaves, I believe, was that if you conquered a land, you would take the people that you conquered and make the men and perhaps even women slaves. So the interesting thing is that God commanded the Israelites to conquer these nations, and I believe sometimes even to take the um, people as slaves. So in that case, it looks like God is condoning slavery. So, but to think about it, so now it's like, what was the purpose of that slavery? It's a punishment of that people um, for their past iniquities, I guess. Um, so, with that being the case, is that an area that would justify slavery? That if it's a punishment for a particular group of people? Now, the, another question is, is slavery as big of a deal to God as one makes it? Well, maybe in God's view, possibly, is that it's not so much a problem if there are slaves, um, but it's more of a problem of how you treat slaves. Um, and the other question is whether or not if a slave wants to be free, if a slave wants to be free and it's not from a situation of God's command out of a punishment, could a slave then become free? So there's a lot here, but at the end of the day, we, we know that God is good. That's something that we have to affirm. We see it all written through all of Scripture. So the question is, why does he not um, put an asterisk in the Ten Commandments and really, you know, 
address that uh, then. And I guess we really don't know. So I guess it's worth still thinking about it, but I guess my overall thought would be that human beings need time to grow and space to think. Um, and so with that, I think God even honors that, though he probably doesn't like slavery. Um, there are situations when it came to a punishment that God cared a little bit more about um, people seeing the reality rather than um, you know, getting a lesson taught to them rather than being a slave. So I guess at the end of the day, the way I would look at it is that slavery, in God's view, in his purposes, was to teach a lesson um, about how it is inappropriate to do X, Y, Z. However, um, I would think once that lesson has been learned, you know, I think anything outside of those situations where he commanded someone, I would say slavery is a definite no. Um, you know, so these are all things to be thinking about and to really analyze this situation. So I hope you enjoyed um, seeing inside my head for a bit. Until next time, don't quit thinking, start quit thinking.